with another tasty nib review. And I went ahead and picked out the Hunt School Nib. This is a really common one. It comes in a lot of sets. We've got our Tachikawa holder here. Will it fit? Will it fit? It will not. Ah, Hunt, come on. That means we're gonna grab our speedball holder. Isn't it handy that we have so many holders on hand? Doesn't every artist have like 20 different nib holders? So handy. Actually, in the hunt sense, they usually include one of these speedball holders. So most people have one of these holders. And today we're gonna be inking in our Denik Inktober sketchbook. Not a favorite, but I'm trying to be consistent for you guys. And we are using FW, which is an acrylic drink, ink in Payne's Gray. It is an acrylic drink as well, guys. No, please don't. Please don't. All right, dippity dip in our small sample cup. Already a little scratchy on this paper, so I may actually, I don't want to, but I may actually have to do another test, which is what I do when the Denik paper just it gets cut up, it bleeds a lot, it's splotchy, it's just hard for me to tell whether it's the nib or the paper. And a lot of nibs that misbehave on this paper behave beautifully on the Strathmore 500 series plate Bristol. And that is normally what I recommend people use. But use what you have, and this is what I have right now. Decent flex to this nib does seem like it would be prone to cutting up the paper. It is a pointed pen nib. It is sharp. It's a school nib, so it's probably originally designed for writing, but I think this nib comes in like every nib, every uh, speedball drawing dip pen set comes with this nib, I'm pretty sure. To double check that, I could just be grossly, disgustingly exaggerating But if you're gonna insist on buying cheap nibs that only come in sets and are sold literally everywhere, probably including Walmart, but definitely including Michaels, I'd actually have to double check on the Walmart. And some Walmart, some Walmarts have like a lot of stuff, like a lot of art supply stuff and their website claims they sell like literally everything, including Copic and Chameleon Markers. And I've never seen that in person, so. Maybe your Walmart's just awesome. And the Walmart I'm used to, which is a small Walmart in Luling, Louisiana, just has like an abysmal collection of things. But, but I am pretty sure, I am pretty sure you can get these nibs even there and certainly through them. So if you're the type who insists on only, only getting what you can find just about anywhere, and hey, I don't blame artists like that because that means availability, blah, 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 blah. It means availability. It means you can consistently do your work. You're not counting on specialty supplies. If this is one nib, you probably will not have trouble finding. I have somehow ended up with three, <laughs> three because I bought different sets and it came in all the sets. And that's pretty common with speedball inking sets. You know, you'll end up getting a few repeats. Just like you end up getting the nib holder with like every fairly sizable set. I guess I wanna make sure though that everybody's got the tools they need, which in a way I can respect that. puts down uh, less ink than some of the other nibs. I don't know if it's just putting down less ink or because it's scratching into the paper. It's being absorbed a little quicker, but it does seem like it might be a faster drying nib. And we've been consistently using the same ink 
So that's something that's properties are not changing and we've been fairly consistently using the Denic paper. See when we always test on the same thing? Ah, sorry guys, I, I was off camera. Wish my camera would beep or I wish you guys would say something. Be like, hey Becca, you're off camera, get on camera. Of course you'll say something in the comments, but I wish you would say something to me as I'm doing it. Ooh, yeah, this one is nippity nip in the paper and you wanna get rid of those little paper nips because it basically makes your dip pen function like a marker and it puts down a big old streak of color instead of a nice controlled line. Definitely nipping a lot of paper there. Part of the problem is I'm being impatient, trying to get this inked. I could step away for two minutes, let the ink on her eyelids dry, and then it wouldn't be so much of a nippy problem. So, this is the Hunt School Nib. It is super commonly available. It looks like it is made of brass. There is a fair amount of flex to it, but it will nip and tear at your paper. So you do want to try and have a light hand. Try to be gentle. Um, it is super commonly available, so you should not have any trouble finding it, both sold in sets of, I believe two is like the smallest you can buy, the smallest quantity of nibs you can buy from most stores for hunt and speedball nibs. I believe Dick Blick sells these in packages of two, but you can also find them in larger sketching and drawing sets through speedball. And oh, it has little fins on the side to give it a little additional flex. So I will link it in the description if you like what you see and you want to get one. You can also pick one up open stock through Paper and Ink Arts, I believe. And, uh, you know, maybe do like a big nib order while you, you're ordering your one nib. Otherwise, the shipping is just not really worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, it has been a pleasure. I hope you guys will check out some of my other nib review videos especially if you are using dip pens this Inktober, or if you just use dip pens in general. If you really like what you see and you want to help me make more, head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash natosoup. And if you're looking for more information about inking and dip pens, head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com. So have a great day, guys. Bye.